quarantine day I have no idea what day it is we're back from South America obviously we've been inside and don't have a whole lot of uh, of travel to share but um, it has actually given us some time to look back and, and relive some of the, the trips that we have taken. And so we actually are putting together a couple of videos from old footage. Um, it's been fun to just kind of look back and, and relive some of the, the trips and the memories. But So uh, this week and actually for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a series of videos from a trip that I took and actually a photo workshop with Carmen Hutter, who is a phenomenal travel photographer and uh, hosted a workshop in the Dolomites. So we are going to, to kind of put together some of those videos. Um, like I said, phenomenal locations, awesome people. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting all this stuff out and going. So without further ado, here we go. from Innsbruck, Austria. I dropped Sarah off yesterday. Um, she had to fly back because, you know, work and things. But I am going to be continuing on uh, to the uh, photo workshop in the Dolomites. And so I am actually here for one day. Uh, it's gonna be more of a rest day, but uh, I still wanna get out and see the city a little bit. It's absolutely beautiful. The Alps are in the background and um, it's just really an incredible little stopover before heading on to the main workshop. Good morning from Innsbruck. I am about to start my lovely six day photo tour. But to, in order to do that, I have to run and catch a train. I have 17 minutes, but let's be honest. If you're not running to catch a train early in the morning in Europe, did you really go to Europe? Here we go. Kerfstein, probably butchering that, but cute little town, cool castle up on the hill, ready to get this party started. We are going all the way up there from all the way down there. Home sweet home. Woo! We made it. It's about a hour and 
30 hour and 45 minute hike and the view is just spectacular. It's absolutely incredible. So we're gonna go check out the famous bridge that's like most Instagram spot up here. Unfortunately, the weather didn't cooperate for us to get a sunset shot. So instead we settled into our hut and made a delicious pasta dinner. Night number one, we were doing the astrophotography uh, attempt by the bridge. We've had a little bit of cloud cover and the moon's out, but I think there's still some pretty good, cool stars. So looking forward to giving it a shot and seeing what happens. Rickety bridge, full icy water. What could go wrong? Good morning. It is 6.45ish out here in some place I can't pronounce. But the sun is coming up beautifully right over there. I've got a time lapse on the GoPro set down there somewhere. And we are just in an absolutely beautiful location. So the rest of the group is going to be here in just a minute. And it's gonna be one heck of a sunrise, so I'm really pumped for this. shooting first location this place is absolutely gorgeous I am so glad that I was able to make it out here I think we got some awesome photos awesome time-lapse this should really be I mean this is just amazing there's no other way to say it say hey Yay. Woo. most of the group All right, so Ashley and I have been trekking across the wilderness because Carmen is way up there with a really long lens and she wants a photo. In fairness, it is a pretty awesome backdrop. Once Carmen got her shot, we were finally allowed to head back down the mountain. It was treacherous, a lot of ice, but some incredible views, and I think everybody made it. We'll find out. So now on to uh, now on to Italy. We've got a three-hour drive uh, down through uh, the Italian border and into the Dolomites, and stop two in this tour. So join me again next week, where I'm going to go through part two of this adventure, uh, starting in Lago de Bris. I'm just going to go ahead and apologize because I'm probably butchering just about every, th every foreign name that I, uh, I say. But uh, if you haven't already, be sure to go check out Carmen's page. She's got some incredible photography. I think right now she's going through a bunch of Iceland pictures. Join us next week, and uh, hopefully you guys hit subscribe. Uh, join us. We're going to be trying to, to put out more videos uh, even while we're in quarantine. Hopefully uh, you can stay entertained, watch our uh, blundering travel, and... Most of all, just stay safe and healthy. So, till next time, peace.